a green box and a red box. Now there's something inside those and I asked who has one of the blues? Let me have a look and see who looks the same right. How about the little in and red t-shirt? Yes, you look. Do you want to go? Can you come up with me? Come and choose me. Well then, Right now, look, these are two beautiful boxes. One and one. You sure? One and one red. Now I want you to choose one of those boxes. The green right now. Shall we see what's in the green box? Do you want to come and see for me? Come on. I'll just open it there for you because then do you want to open it? Inside the green box are some smarties. So didn't you make a good choice? Yeah. Would you like to stand there? With your smarties. In the red box, should you see what's in the red box? In the red box there is a a Timothy Tortoise money box. So if he chose in the red one, this is what he would have had. Now the thing that they're nice both of them are nice things had, and he didn't know this he which is going to be which. That one he can really enjoy. This one, what do you do with this one? You put money in it, and the idea is that you put you collect money and then you send it to to Captain Allen to help him with his work. So that's what the other choice would have been. Luke. Look, would you like to have both of them because you've, you've come to help me? And if you are very... I'm going to give you a goodbye as well. Wow, aren't you, Jane? And now, if you're very clever and you manage to put lots of little pennies in there, you can send it up to Alex at, at Techman office to help, help with Techman. So thank you very much. Thank you for your help this morning. Can you come look at... were easy choices. There wasn't anything horrid in either box and he had no idea what was in them. So that was a simple choice. But you know, every day you and I have to make choices about how we behave, what we do, whether we do things that please Jesus or things that don't. You know, like you run into the kitchen and you drop the plate on the floor and it breaks. Mummy comes in and says, oh! Johnny, you've broken the plate. Now you've got a choice. You can either say, I'm terribly sorry, Mummy, yes, I have. Or you can say, No, I didn't do that. No, no, I didn't do that. Which wouldn't be right, would it? So that's one sort of choice you, you might have to make. To choose the right thing. Imagine you're in the playground and you're with your friends, and today there's a new child has joined your class and they don't know anybody at all and all the other children are saying doesn't she look funny? don't like her dress, do you? no, come on, don't play with her now you've got a choice, haven't you? are you going to go with your friends and ignore this new new girl or are you going to be kind and not say my name's Liz would you like to play with me today and join my game and help her to get to know the class. That, that's a good choice to make, isn't it? So each day we have choices to make. But by the end of the day, you're watching Terry. And Dad comes in and says, OK, head off, time for bed. You've got a choice. You say, OK, Dad, fine. Tell them, Terry, that night, can we get to go to bed? Or do you ignore it? Pretend you haven't heard and carry on watching it until Dad gets very close and says, come on, bedtime. See, so we have a choice to make each day, whether we choose the right thing to do or the wrong thing, whether we choose to do what pleases Jesus or whether we don't. Well, we're going to think about that a little, a little bit later on, but in this play today, in the play today, somebody 
somebody, and let's move this chair out the way, just in case anything untoward happens. Thank you. Um, in the first day, somebody has a choice to make. Let's see what happens. Welcome to the Potting Show. Behind the big house, down Dapple Lane, there is a large garden, looked after by Gordon the gardener. At the bottom, near the plum tree, is a large potting shed, where Gordon keeps all his tools and the other things he uses in the garden. The potting shed is also the home of two special mice, Sydney and Cora. One day, Gordon was in the shed, cleaning his garden floor. Good workman always looks after his tools. That's what my dad used to tell me. Hey, Gordon. Oh. oh, hello, Cora. How are you today? Very well. Is it true what the hedgehog have told me today? I don't know. What's true? What has the hedgehog told me today? That you allowed a toad in the garden. Aye, that's right. She's looking at what we in the flower bed. That's right, yeah. So that's what was looking at me from the rockery this morning. Ooh, a toad! How disgusting! Sure enough, I'm surprised at you. So, you know, that's it. Uh, you know, it's all the way. What a toad, Jordan. That's an ugly, a slimy. Yeah, but as I say, so she's one of God's creatures too. And she's got a place in God like the rest of us. They say, if you touch a toad's back, they let up a horrible smell. Oh, well, it's all part of her defences. Just uh, in case anyone could hurt her or even eat her. Well, as long as she keeps well away from here, I suppose it will be all right. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> I won't say what they thought when they had two mice who were living in garden shed. Hello, look at my girl. Hi, Cora. Hello, Cindy. What have you been up to? Oh, well, it's very I live in the front. Her name is Tanya. She's not as quick as us, so I showed her a safe way to cross the road. That's very nice of you, Sydney. It's good to be friends with nice people. I was glad to tell Gordon earlier there's no place for a toad in the garden. That's my friend Tanya. She's nice. Nice? No, she can't be. She's a toad, Sydney. Yeah. So? That's splendid and ugly as. She's not ugly. She's really nice. Oh, 
Oh dear, that's not, that's a very difficult choice to make. Well, I've always been my friend since I was a small mouse. But I don't like trying to get me to tell lies. My father told me you should be my friend. I like Jenny. Um, I don't well, know her very well yet. She was nice though. Yeah, she is nice. She is nice. Do you know something? She's actually organised a party for all the creatures in the garden. And she wants to say thank you for welcoming her here. And you know something? She's also a very clever toad. What do you mean? Well, apparently, she knows the favourite food of every creature in the garden. And she's ordered some for the party, including hazelnuts. Nuts! All hazelnuts! Cadbury's paper has a cover of chocolate. by a mouse. And, uh, and, uh, and she's also very grateful for that. She's also grateful for you, for helping her this morning. Anyway, the thing is, ever since that time, she decided she always do special favours for mice. Yeah, I think it's really good, because she's really, yeah, she's just, well, just great, really, isn't it? Well, it's nice. And, uh, well, it's just a pity, isn't it? It's a pity that Cora doesn't like Tanya. Because, of course, if Cora doesn't like Tanya, Cora won't go to the party, and if Cora doesn't go to the party, she won't enjoy those lovely hazelnuts. Mm. Anyway, come on, Sydney. Let's go and see what we can do to help Tanya set things up for the party. All right, come on. I'll see you outside. Hazelnuts! My favourite! Now what do I do? Now I've got to make a hard choice. Do I say sorry for being so mean to turn your toes and go to her party? And if I do that, Sydney and Gordon will know I've changed my mind. They might laugh at me and tell the others how foolish I was. But if I don't go to the party, I won't have those lovely hazelnuts. And I might lose a good friend too. What shall I do, oh dear? Cora, if you don't mind me saying so, I think you should admit you're wrong and say sorry to Tanya Toad. I mean, if you mean it, that is. I mean, I wouldn't like you to say sorry, go to the party, and then continue to be mean to Tanya. But I really am sorry, Gordon. I don't know why I decided not to like Tanya. Me, you? No, I won't, and neither will Sydney. Mind you, you nearly lost a good friend. Gordon, you can eat. Tell me to save you some fizzy drinks. I've got your party hat as well. There's a green one for you to choose. Oh, or right. yellow one. I'll have the green one if that's okay. all right. Just take it on the yellow. Yeah. Oh, um, hi, Cora. Listen, I'm afraid I've made my choice. Um, it's a wrap, Sydney. So I, I'm sorry, I tried to make you make a hard choice, and I'm so mean to Tanya. Please will you forgive me? Of course I will. Does this mean we're all going to the party? I think it, I think it does, Sydney. Mm. Let's put on our off. Here we are. Here are Cora, this is your party hat. Wow. Mm. Isn't this good? Let's get going then, shall oh, we? I'm so glad we came to live in your garden, Gordon. It's the best place for us. Mm. Well, that's that too. Come on, we're going to the party. We're going to the party. Da, da, da.